so welcome back to another video of the series technical analysis the daily technical analysis so the coin today that we are going to analyze is the dogecoin the very famous dogecoin it was a time that dogecoin was one of the most favorite coins of the new nerd crypto investors let's say that so i have been analyzing this coin for a long time you know there was a there was this time when we talked about this coin getting on mars the moon and this and that and now you see this being sold at the most utter discount the most discounted price for the doge coin so let's not waste the time and directly jump into the analysis and let's find out supports resistances okay so if i see this place this place acted as a resistance and there was a sell off oh, at this point doge coin was not able to somehow get above this place so let's see if that place has some kind of effect on it right now again yes i think it does because you can see that this line it was acting as a resistance and then later on it should act as a support however this broke down and broke down and there was some retest 1 2 3 4 5 retest and then again now you see people are selling here and they are selling here due to two reasons basically one reason is that this line well th these are not the lines that are basically uh, acting as support or resistance at these places there are a lot of limit orders that are being placed on different exchanges could be binance could be coinbase okx or any any big exchange people used to place these limit orders that execute themselves on a command so that's how these kind of uh, you know supports and resistance are created as well there is another confluence of this 21 week uh, 21 simple moving average they the you know retail investors and the common investors the, they, those who don't know too much about the analysis they just know a little bit fundamental and a little bit technical they would just simply go and place their orders on such kind of you know resistance line to support lines so what the market makers do is they they somehow try to grab their money they hit their stop losses they deviate them they make them into believe something else and they turn the market to the other side like for example if you were at this place uh, let me just take you back for example if you were at this place and you have seen doge coin in a lot of downtrend and you were waiting for a good entry finally you saw that the doge coin went above the uh what do you say that above the 21 moving average and you were you just wanted that somehow you just wished somehow that the doge coin should climb up this resistance because you saw it here it acted as a resistance it was a resistance then you saw a flag a bull flag here it make it made you happy you had a dopamine rush then you saw a green candle then another green candle then when you saw this candle this point you just thought that the resistance is broken with good volume and now you should put all of your money here and you would somehow this would be somehow your target but that was not the case the market makers were very smart they sub placed their orders somewhere here when they, they saw you most of people were uh, putting their orders here they were buying a lot of doge coin at this place so they tried to capitalize this and they just pulled down the market and they shorted everything there and now from till that point you can see that it's been blood bath for the doge coin so these are the some th these are the tricks that sometimes you are being played but you don't get to know it until it's too late or until you become an experienced trader after like 3 or 4 years so currently uh, let's see on the local time frame uh, or like i would not say local i would say it like uh, shorter time frame on the shorter time frame we can see that we have some 
range here at this point this range is acting as a little bit of support to the dogecoin we can so we can expect a bounce this is also another double bottom you can see one or two double bottom but there is there are there is being there is being a lot of selling on this point you see this was 21 moving average it climbed up the 21 moving average and now it's somehow trying to close it below i want dogecoin to somehow clear this level this this level i would say this is the let's use this line i would consider this place as a point of resistance immediate resistance i would want doge coin to somehow clear this point however if you are looking for entries for very very long times long terms like three or four years this is the best place i think you have got you can like you can go for like 40 percent in there say long term hold you can enter at this place at for the long term hold if you are a short scalper you want some um, results in the in few months or few weeks i would not recommend to be entering at this place i would need you to be more patient let's see some other conference if we can see and which You can see this this line has been acting as this is just some kind of support for the Dogecoin. I don't know what is wrong with my trading it is it's getting stranger. I will check it out after the video. However, you just got an idea that this this line, this area, this is uh this is acting as support. Maybe something wrong with the cursor. Okay, so this is the immediate support, this place. So you can expect some bounces here as well. This this is the point of convergence. This line is converging with this support. So you, this 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 might move could have been expected if you were already looking into this Dogecoin. You could have expected this move, and you could have make a made a short move, a short entry, a like quick ten or twenty percent at this point so i think that's all for the dogecoin nothing special until bitcoin clears give us the clear signal for the situation this was all for the dogecoin see you in the next video in the next video i think we are going to analyze uh, matic matic pol polygon so see you in the next video